This is Matt Marr, and I just want to take a minute and talk about the song Glory, Let There Be Peace. They needed a song that sort of helped uh, encapsulate the moment of what was happening in the film. Really, the heart of the film is about one person's journey towards faith again. At a time where even though, you know, people celebrate the holidays, a lot of people struggle with their faith, specifically during a time where we're supposed to be celebrating our faith. And a lot of it has to do with painful things that happen in life, difficult decisions, difficult moments, whether it's finances or whether it's strained relationships or whether it's, you know, separated families. And yet it's, it's amazing because at the heart of that story, at the story of the birth of Jesus, is this angel who announces to the world, don't be afraid. You know, be not afraid is the most used phrase in the Bible. And so yet this angel appears um, to shepherds, to kings, you know, to the mother of God, he says, don't be afraid. And not only that, but then when he announces the birth of God, he says, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to men of goodwill. You know, the film sort of ends with this culmination of like this young boy reminding the people there, reminding us all of these words of glory to God in the highest and on earth, let there be peace. And I think that peace starts here. I don't think it starts in the world. I don't think it starts outside. I think peace is something that starts in the individual's heart first. And it extends to your community. It extends to your family. It extends to those you love and those you care about. It even extends to your enemy and people that you find yourself at odds with. And so I think my hope and my prayer for this song, even for this movie, is that when people see it, it, it brings about a moment of reflection where once again they could hear God saying, don't be afraid and let there be peace. Great turnout. Not bad. And let's give it up for Mr. Matthew Payton. This guy knows how to throw a party, doesn't he? My grandfather started the festival as a gift to this community. Matthew, you're tapped out. The doors to Payton Automotive closed. You put half these people out of work. Does it taste like poverty? Does anybody need any help? Are you okay? Too. My name is Sharon, my son Clarence, he found you. You can call me CJ. We've been praying for you, and we don't even know your name. I'm Matthew Payton. Like the Christmas pageant, Payton? This year, I'm gonna be the big guy. Gabriel, okay. I don't think the pageant is possible anymore. Odd things are possible to those who believe. What happened? A little boy found me, his mother took care of me. That's not true, is it? What people are saying? There is a difference between people who sign the check on the front and people who sign the check on the back. When you tell this town, I would hate to see what happens next. As far as the festival goes, I cannot continue this tradition. I think you may have had the funds and then they've been misappropriated. I didn't want any of this to happen. I believe in you, Mr. P. I can see that you're in a little bit of trouble. Why don't you strive to give CJ something better? I strive to help these people. I mean, the world, it's, it's here, it's inside. These folks needed a place to stay warm last night, so I gave it to them. You've given us all a tremendous gift. I think you have a new friend. My new friend thinks if he believes hard enough, he's going to be in the pageant. What do you believe, Matthew Payton? Matthew, you gotta get back here right away. There's a fire. Where's your mom? We're still inside. We have to go find out. When he saved you, he saved all of us. We don't have anything in life. Faith becomes your most valued possession. If you believe in your heart, it will come true.